I think it's been like three or four posts I've seen of people's dogs dying. They lose power and all the dogs wind up dying from overheating. This is some stuff that you can get really honestly inexpensively that will prevent your dogs from dying and overheating while you're away or unaware or whatever the case it may be. What's going on, Bully fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, bringing you another episode of Breeders Hacks. So real quick, guys, um, I wanted to show you guys because, I mean, after, after seeing, I mean, we're getting the summer months now. I think it's been like three or four posts I've seen of people's dogs dying um, on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube. People's dogs dying because they're away or whatever the case it may be. They lose power and all the dogs wind up dying from overheating. So this is some stuff that you can get really honestly inexpensively um, that will prevent your dogs from dying um, and overheating while you're away or unaware or whatever the case it may be. So the, the, the two things I wanna start with is an electric generator. I bought this at Costco for like 150, $200, right? If we lose power, this, this Duracell um, generator is actually it's pretty strong. It'll run a refrigerator for like seven hours. So if I ever lose power, I always have this charge. I could plug in our AC unit for the dogs into this thing. The other thing that I have that's really, I mean, this is just a backup, is I have the real generator right under there. So, um, so it's actually time for me to maintenance it. So that's why I'm kind of opening up, pulling this out and doing this video. So it's time for maintenance. Um, the cool thing about it is honestly, if you get a generator, there's a special gas you can throw in there. You don't, like I'm, I'm not super technical savvy when it comes to generators and stuff, but what I do know is um, there's a special gas you can put in that if you don't use your generator, it's good for like, you know, two, three years. So you don't have to do much maintenance. At least you have the generator just in case. And you would wanna have one for your own household anyway. Those you can get pretty inexpensively. You can get the smaller ones at Harbor Freight. So these are, so these are just two things that, I mean, honestly, if you're a dog breeding, you're gonna take this serious. You're gonna wanna have, whether it's for heating or for cooling, um, even just for yourself in case of emergencies. So uh, we're cleaning up kennels real quick. So, so I'm just gonna show you guys two other things. I did a video on these two other things like, uh, I think it was like two years ago, um, but they still hold true to today. So these are the other two things that yet again, if you're a dog owner, especially a dog breeder, you should have something like these two things to some sort of effect, right? So the first one is the Govi temperature sensor, right? So the Govi temperature sensor, what's nice about this is it takes battery or um, I bought this adapter that allows me to plug it in and keep it in the wall at all times. So here's the thing, it has an app. So what makes this temperature sensor so great is it notifies my phone, literally, I set the temperature between, uh, I think I have it set between like 65 and, and, and like 70. If it goes above 70, I know something's up. If it goes below 65, I know something's up. So it literally will notify my phone that it, the temperature has either dropped too low or has gone too high. Um, and if it loses power, like I've unplugged it right now, it'll also notify you about that as well. So that's what's really cool about this thing. Um, I, like I said, I, I, this has saved my butt. How, how many times, like at least a couple times, we, it, things have happened. You know, you lose power, it can happen to anyone. We were out and we lost power and I'm getting a notification on my phone. I'm like, what's going on? I took the cameras, all this stuff, saved my butt a couple times. You know, um, so I've had this for years now. So this is something, like I said, it's not super expensive. I think I paid like 75 bucks. And um, honestly, I would probably get two of them. I'd probably get two of them to be honest at this point. This is the Lux thermostat, right? So as you can see, what it does is it plugs right into your wall, right into your outlet. And because I don't have central air in here, uh, we have a portable unit. It plugs right into this outlet. It, it plugs, I'm sorry, right into this unit. This unit plugs into the outlet. And then what it does is it allows you to set the temperature, um, whether it's heat or whether it's cooling. And it has an option here. And you can set the temperature wh whether you're running a, a heater or whether you're running an AC unit. And the reason being, and I think I paid like 
50 bucks for this is because with some of the AC units, it'll just run all day, all day, all day, all day. So in order to save on like electricity and stuff like that, we purchased this. So it'll just turn it on and off when need be. So come check this out real quick, actually. I'll show them. So as you can see, the AC unit is right there. Big 14,000 uh, 14, BTU unit. For one of my buddies, he's HVAC. Um, he says more than enough for the space that we're in. So that's what I use for my cooling. Like I said, we plug it into this unit, it'll cut it on and off. And then there's an exhaust vent. I'll show, let's take them outside and they can see against the... There's an exhaust vent we did right here. So this vent actually will open and we'll shoot the air out, the hot air out. So I just wanted to show you these things real quick. I got to get back to these dogs, guys. But um, I, I just think this would be helpful. Um, having these things here will prevent dogs from overheating and dying on you. Especially, especially brachiocephalic breeds. I can't stress this enough. So especially when you're dealing with brachiocephalic breeds um, that can easily overheat, especially in the summer months, you're also gonna wanna have like an overheating kit almost. You're gonna wanna have some of uh, the lemon juice. You're gonna wanna have some Pedialyte. You're gonna wanna have things, uh, the green rubbing alcohol. You're gonna wanna have some things and I'd have a video going all over those things. You can check that video out on what to do when the dog is already overheating. But you wanna have a kit like that ready to go, but you wanna prevent those things if possible, especially in their own home and especially in their own enclosure. Even inside the house. I have one of these inside the house. Just in case for whatever reason I lost power inside the house, I would still be able to be notified. So I have one of these actually inside the house too for the dogs that are inside the house at any given point in time. So I hope this information is helpful. I hope it's useful, guys. Um, take it with a grain of salt. All these things are pretty inexpensive. And if you're breeding dogs, should be one of your number one investments, especially with the summer months coming. All right, guys. See you guys in the next episode.